The Longines FEI World Cup Jumping Series touches down at Old Salem Farm in New York for the second leg of the Eastern Sub League. Alan Wade of Ireland's first round track provided plenty of thrills and spills for the big audience here at Old Salem for the American Gold Cup. But it was just two who stood clear and into the jump off. Charlie Jacobs went first. Charlie, who picked up good points at Bromont, so he had the opportunity here today to pick up the points for one of the top two places. A clear could have easily helped him into the win, probably one of the biggest wins of his career. Charlie and Cassinia were setting a good standard in this head-to-head -head jump off onto the pole there at the old Salem farm. Meant that he had to now, going up against a rider of the caliber of Kent Farrington, really hold on to add nothing else to his score to hope to keep some pressure on Kent. He sets a good time and it's just four forts, a guaranteed top two. Might it be enough for the win? Kent Farrington, the world number two. He's had a tremendous run of success over the last few years and this year. And he and Gazelle, out of context, they are going a lot slower than they normally would in a Grand Prix, but uh, this is just one competitor for them. They lead the old Salem farm fence up, but at this point, he's actually down on the clock against Charlie Jacobs, so he simply can't afford a pole. But what Kent knows and what his plan is, the Gazelle can pick up the pace. He sees a beautiful spot at the last. He's home, it's clear, that's good enough for the win. Charlie Jacobs walks away, Kent Farrington is the winner. But look at this, he has to take his bow from the ground. Gazelle takes a little spook having crossed the finish line. And the Longines FEI World Cup jumping victor walks out of the ring at Old Salem. So those two made it through to the jump off and take the most points today, but the one fault rounds for Lauren Tisbo and Laura Kraut helped them with useful Longines FEI World Cup jumping points as well. It means a lot to me because this is one of the one of the Grand Prix I've never won in America. I've been close a couple times. I was actually in a three horse jump off here uh, a few years back and I and I lost. I was second. Um, so I had the, the better advantage today going at the end. Um, great finish for me today. I couldn't be happier. So congratulations to Kent Farrington, the winner of the Longines watch today, and Charlie Jacobs, who moves into the series lead with good results both here and at Bromont. We pick up the action in Sacramento, California, as the Longines FEI World Cup Jumping North America League continues from October 4th through 9th. And you can watch all the action here on FEI TV.